always do that? Why do I always put my hands up? I don't get it. I'm going to try and stop doing that. Hey guys, it's Abby and today I am going to be doing my Tokyo treat box. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I am starving and it's like nine o'clock in the morning and I'm going to eat a bunch of Japanese treats. So in the box comes a little pamphlet that tells you what everything is and then it's, there's a bunch of stuff inside. Before I start this, let me begin. My gas is back on. Ah, so happy. I'm wearing red lipstick without any of, any of it on my face. And my husband is alive. He survived the man cold. I'm so proud of him. He survived. Let's begin, because I'm starving. So in this little pamphlet, it has a bunch of things in it as well. It tells you what's in the box. I give this to my kids when I'm done doing the unboxings because they like to read through it and just check it out. There are three types of boxes. There is the small box where you get six snacks or candy. There's the regular box where you get up to 12 snacks and candy and one DIY. And then there's a the pre premium box where you get a drink, a DIY, and a few other things with it. And I just get the premium. I get the regular box. Um, it is kind of pricey. It's about $24 a month. And I really love this box. Like This is one of the boxes that I love to get because it's so different and it's so much fun. So anyway, let's begin the unboxing and taste test. The first thing I see are Calbee seaweed and salt chips. Good Lord. I'm not big on anything that tastes fishy at all. This doesn't smell fishy though. So here's the chip. It has like, looks like a sour cream and onion chip actually. Let's just do this. I couldn't chew that fast enough. That had to go down, go away. Oh my God. No. No, number one is a no. Next, I have Tohado Caramel Corn. And, oh, it's Caramel Corn Apple Pie flavor. And they're sweet corn puffs. The box is, um, the bag is so cute. They smell like something. Not apple pie, that's for sure. Caramel that is like coated on anything and stuck in a bag always smells weird. It kind of smells like a chemical to me. And there they are, little corn things. I don't know if I'm just hungry and they taste good, but they're good. Like they have, they kind of remind me of an alcoholic beverage. Next, it says it's a bonus snack. And it is just a strawberry gummy. And I'll eat a few of these and then save the rest for my kids. They're like a dark purple red. I still have seaweed stuck to my hands. Guys, gals, these are really good. They don't taste like a normal fruit snack. They have like... They have a fresh strawberry taste and they're not like, when you bite into them, they're not like that soft gummy. They're kind of hard and chewy, but they're good. These are good. I might not give those to my kids. I see something hard. Sugar kicks, sugar kicks, sugar kicks. Mekon gummy. Enjoy the juicy flavor of un- Shimmikin with these semi-hard gummy. These gummy come in fun puzzle shapes. Collect them all to make a complete picture of sugar kickets. Okay. Kind of a little nervous about a hard gummy. What? I wasn't expecting that. How does this go into a puzzle? I am so confused because that does not look like 
it would be in a puzzle. I don't know. Maybe they're, I don't know. They're like little tiny gumdrops kind of things. I can't get the seaweed off my hands. Oh! They could have warned me. I was covered in sourness. Yeah, I have another one. Mmm. First of all, I don't get the puzzle. Oh my God. Second of all, that is the most sour gummy I've ever had in my home. The white that was on it, look, I'm gonna show it to you again. Cause it didn't say anything, anything about sour. It said, enjoy the juicy flavor of these semi-hard gummies. It didn't say anything about sour. Oh, good Lord. See, it's like white coating on it. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not even kidding. That is sour, so sour. Like, I was pranked. Okay, next. I need something else. What's this? Baked sweet potato. <clears throat> Baked sweet potato yokan. Yokan is a Japanese sweet that is usually made with sweet red bean paste and has a thick jelly consistency. This month, We've included a decadent baked sweet potato flavor in Yokan that is sure to please all fans of Japanese snacks. It says chill it, like chill it and eat it with and eat it while you're drinking a cup of tea. So I'm not sure if I should even try it because I'm not chilling it. Oh, I don't know. Guys, I'm kind of scared. Oh, my cat's like, can I have some? No, I don't think I'd like that chilled either. What a weird consistency. It's like jelly, but it has like a powdery, I don't know, weird, weird. Next, chocolate pie bar. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I needed. Enjoy this bar shaped chocolate pie that is filled with rich but non-melting chocolate. The combination of the light and airy crust with the chocolate makes for a perfect mid-afternoon snack that you can enjoy with your favorite cup of joe or tea. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Oh, oh. It's broken. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna eat the rest. It's not very big. Yum. I could eat 17 of those. Next. Mayo Tara. Mayo Tara is a, is a traditional Japanese dagaashi snack that packs a lot of flavor, although it does not look, look it. Individually sized, this dried taro fish snack has a chewy texture, like beef jerky. The more you chew, the more intense the flavor. Add the mayonnaise that is included as a topping for the best flavor. Do I have to? Oh. God. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, a cracker. And here's the mayonnaise. I don't know. Do I have to? Oh. Here we go, guys. I'm taking one for the team. This is, this is for you. Oh my God. That is the worst thing I've ever had in my whole entire life. I did take a bite, see? And I'm not big on mayonnaise either, so maybe that's my problem, or fish. 
So mayo and fish together. No. Next, Umatama chocolate. Popular snack franchise Umi, um, Umaibo has released a new snack that embraces the light airy texture of their famous snack but in totally different shape and style. Enjoy the bite-sized cream puff balls that are filled with tasty chocolate cream. I love anything that's a cream puff or a ball. I'm, I'm keep looking at my cat because my cat loves to eat food that I'm eating. Come here, Mosh. That's weird. The chocolate's more of like a cream, like a buttery cream. And the pastry on it's just a flaky pastry. It's not bad. It's not one of my favorite things, but it's not bad. Next. Oh, God. Kanako stick. Kanako stick is a semi-soft, chewy candy that is covered with an ample amount of roasted soybean flour. An iconic snack in Japan, this traditional snack has been loved by many generations. The chewy texture with the sub... With the subtle sweetness is enough to get you hooked, but the roasted soybean flour gives it a nutty di dimension that gives it a unique touch. It's worth trying. I'll totally try this. All right. Sorry, my, my camera shut off, so I'm gonna have to do this again, and I really don't want to. There it is. I don't know what that candy is. That's my answer. Mm -mm. Next, Whistle Ramun. Featured in the popular daga, dag, Dagashi Kashi manga, these fun Ramun candies double as a whistle. That end has been loved by kids in Japan since the 70s. With the, additional, with the addition of a mini toy with each pack, package, it's no wonder why the Whistle Ramun continues to maintain its popularity. How cute is that? Ooh. Oh, I bit it. I ate the whistle. I was kind of expecting it to be like a lifesaver where you get to suck on it. There's my toy. I want to make it whistle. Those are good. Let's make it whistle. two things left in my box this one is a DIY and you're supposed to it's called chorus fruit and vegetable shop chewing candy just put the colorful soft candies in a mold following the examples on the package and you've got yourself tasty and cute fresh produce shaped chewing candies mix a yellow and pink candy to make an orange colored candy so I'll do this with my kids and um, the last thing is bake Limited edition sweet potato flavor. Very popular chocolate snack, Bake, is back with a new limited edition flavor. Just in time for the colder seasons, these mouth-watering sweet potato flavored chocolate snack provide both a, a sat satiating two-in-one texture and a rich sweet potato flavor that is sure to please even the pickiest snacker. I don't know about that, because I am pretty darn picky. I've never seen these. I have red lipstick all over my fingers now from doing the whistle. All right, so there's one of them. I thought it was supposed to have chocolate. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not for me, but I'm sure other people will like it and all these snacks will go to my family members my sister's coming over today, so she'll eat some of them with her little kid, with her little um, almost three-year-old. He'll eat anything, and he's so adorable. So um, I'll give most of this stuff to them. The seaweed chips I'll give to my niece, Gracie, because she loves to try new things. It'll be fun for her to try. And um, my favorite things, because there's a few of them, were these 
the chewy strawberry gummies. Surprisingly, these apple pie corn puffs. Um, the whistles and that chocolate thing I ate. This thing, holy my goodness gracious, delicious. The worst thing was the mayo and the fish. Please don't ever send that to me again. These things, cause please tell me that they're sour. I don't ever wanna do that again. And the seaweed chips. This box is so much fun cause you never know what you're gonna get. You can get great stuff. Like last month I had such awesome stuff. There was this, this cake thing. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I been looking for it so I could order it. It's so good. Um, so you don't know what you're going to get, but it's usually just so much fun to do. And it's great to do with someone else. If I had a, someone else to do this with me, I would love to do this with them. But um, I don't today. So if you guys are interested in getting this box for yourself, I will list the link in the description box below. And that's it. I hope everyone's having a great day and I'll see you in my next video.